Hi everybody! This is Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor. This is my first time ever doing Facebook Live and I'll have to admit I'm a little bit nervous. Um, if anybody's watching this at all, please comment and let me know that you're there. That way I don't feel like I'm talking to myself because <laughs> I fell over because I feel kind of silly anyways right now. But um, I painted some door hangers yesterday and I thought that today I would just make a few bows for them because I usually do that anyway. And at my parties, I've been having people ask me how I make my bows. And I kind of just came up with this on my own, although I'm sure I'm not the first one to do it this way. But it is the simplest, quickest way that I know to make a cute bow with multiple different kinds of ribbon. And it doesn't use a whole lot of ribbon. So it's really great for me because at a party, I might have five people want to use the same kind of ribbon. And if I made one big bow out of all this same kind of ribbon, I would use up a whole row of ribbon. But by doing it this way, I can just use little strips of ribbon. So let's see, this is a door hanger I painted yesterday. It's gonna go in my booth at Trends and Treasures and I've already got some strips of ribbon cut out. I don't know if you can see this, let me show you. I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, and I usually cut them about six inches long or so. So I've got those cut out. And then I've also got, next camera, I've also got some burlap ribbon. You can buy in, oh shoot. I'll get the hang of this in a second. You can buy it in rolls like this. Um, usually at Walmart, it's easier to find in the fall because of Thanksgiving and the holidays. They keep a lot of it in stock, but I've had a hard time finding it lately. But anyways, it's about six inches wide and comes on a 15 foot roll. And I usually cut about 15 inches or so, just enough so that I can fold it over and make a loop. Let me see if I can show you this without knocking the camera over. Okay, so I fold it over like this, and I kind of just make sure that the edges overlap. So that's enough to do that, but before I do that, I like to take my ribbon and dovetail it. You just take it and you fold it over like this, and then you just clip, and it makes a cute little dovetail. You don't have to do that, but I just think it looks fancier that way. So I just go through and dovetail each end of the ribbon. Okay, so I've got those four pieces of ribbon all ready to go. And then I've got my burlap. So I'm gonna take my burlap and fold it in. And then I like to take one finger and put it in the middle and then take my other fingers and scrunch it all toward the middle, kind of like that. And you just kind of hold it all together right there. And then I usually take the biggest piece first. Hang on, I've got it upside down. Okay, I keep the folded part in the back. I've got the biggest piece first and I lay it on here. I scrunch it in the same way. And then I take another one and scrunch it with my fingers. And I just crisscross them. Okay, actually I think I want that one on top. And I just kind of layer the colors so that the one I want is on top. Because I like the yellow one the best. It's the prettiest. Okay, and then I just like to use some, um, I guess it's just jute string. And I just cut about six inches of it. And I lay it over the middle. I wrap it to the back. And I usually lay it on the table or press it against my stomach to hold it all together. But then I tightly tie the string around it and make a double knot and pull it tight. And at this point, you'll probably have to, you know, shape your ribbon kind of like that to make it lay however you want. But isn't that cute? Well, there we go. And then I'll just staple it probably right about there. I'll do that in a minute. Okay, so the next one I'm going to make is for this trick-or-treat mason jar. And I've already pre-cut some, and this is my favorite ribbon right here. It is about two and a half or three inches wide, and it's got wire in it, but it's burlap with a print on it. And you can get it in several different colors of chevron. So I'll usually dovetail these also. I like to lay them on top of each other. That way I can do them two at a time. And fold them and clip so that both ends are dovetailed. 
and then I've got a couple of small pieces here I'm going to do. If you can't tell, I'm so ready for fall and Halloween. I'm ready for summer to be over. So all of my door hangers that I've been making lately are for fall and Halloween. Okay, and then I've got my strip of burlap. I'm going to lay it here and fold it over in the middle so that it's crisscrossing each other. Put my finger in the middle and then just scrunch it inward like that. Hold it together. And then I'm going to layer my pieces of burlap ribbon. And I just kind of use my thumb and index fingers to hold it all together. Crisscross those. I just like the texture that the burlap ribbon gives it. And then I've got a couple of small pieces of ribbon I'm going to add. Hope you guys can see that. Okay, let me cut a little piece of string. Okay, I'm going to take the string, wrap it around. I can find it and make a double knot in the back. Okay, and then after I flip it over, I usually like to shape the ribbon, especially the one with the wire in it. It just makes it look more 3D, I guess, when it's all fluffed up like that. But how cute is that? And then I will staple that one right on here with my handy dance. Ah, I'm so sorry, guys. I probably meant to a good thing with it. And I'll quit knocking you over. Okay. Actually, I've got a tripod ordered to use next time. So, next time, maybe that won't happen. Okay, so, ta-da! It's all done. Last one. I painted this one yesterday also. Happy fall, y'all! I just love the colors in this one. Okay, so I've got my strip of burlap again. Let me straighten this where y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then I've got two more pieces of the burlap ribbon in lime green and orange. I'm going to dovetail those. There we go. And then I love this black and white chevron ribbon. It's very Halloween-ish. I don't know if that's a word, but it makes me happy. I really like this ribbon. Okay. Let me get a, go ahead and cut a piece of string. All right. Let's layer the burlap. Cross it over itself. There we go. And then I'll do the orange on bottom. And then the green on top. Like that. And then crisscross cross the black. Okay, there we go. Well, I see some people are actually watching. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Lauren. Erica. Amanda. <laughs> All people I know. It's going to be weird if I ever get anybody on here that I don't know. You guys probably already know how to do this, but y'all are watching just because you're nice. <laughs> Anyways, I have people at my parties all the time ask how I make my bows, and these are just so easy that it would be a shame if people didn't know how. But anyways, there's a cute little Halloween bow. I'm going to staple it probably right there. What you think? That's good. And then these, all three of these will be in my booth at Trends and Treasures for sale. Probably Monday. I doubt I'll make it up there before then. But there you go, the finished project. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next time.